Hey there, and welcome to my humble abode. I find myself back at it again in the Project Zomboid universe. This time I'm trying to survive as a very qualified individual. More qualified than David Goggins, and significantly more qualified than a man with a comedically oversized spoon. We must survive as a forklift certified survivor. But before we dive into this wacky adventure, if you would be so kindly, could you subscribe to this ever-growing community? By just pressing the subscribe button, you will instantly become forklift certified, and who doesn't want that? Alright, with all that out of the way, let's get into this adventure. To kick this adventure off, we start by choosing our occupation prior to the start of the zombie apocalypse. Since we're forklift certified, it would only make sense to choose construction worker. For negative traits, I chose out of shape and overweight, since all we do is sit in a chair all day. Sort of like a crusty Valorant player, but we're just forklift certified. Next, I chose Speed Demon because I have a Praise Dale Raise Hail bumper sticker on my 1998 Ford Ranger. Wakeful because I snort G Fuel to start my days. Iron Gut because I eat so many gas station cheeseburgers my stool comes out as black sludge. And Light Eater. Because if I eat more than one gas station cheeseburger, my heart feels funny and my right leg and hand tingles. Now, let's begin. We start our journey like every other resident of Ohio at our hazardous material cleanup job site. Looks like we got left behind to watch over all the equipment while the rest of the crew went back to our hometown for a little R&R &R at Arby's. Unfortunately for us, the zombie apocalypse ball was picked for our 2023 bingo card, so we're SOL. However, we have a great vehicular advantage over everyone else. We just need to find it. Before I drive off into the sunset on my glorious forklift, I first need to find some food and water. For me, not the forklift. So that's what I did. I began searching the nearby trailers for those exact supplies. Also, if you haven't noticed, I donned my high visibility vest for the safety of other survivors around me. Only a few minutes into my start, I found a canteen, some food, and even a knife to defend myself. I slithered my way to the last building in the lot and jimmied my way into it. That's when I caught a glimpse of it. My bright yellow 9,000 pound chariot. Just like that, I'm ready to take on the apocalypse. I quickly finished searching the area for any more useful items and hopped on my forklift for a little test drive. Driving the forklift at first took a few seconds to grow accustomed to it since it's reverse maneuverability. The wheels are in the back, so if I steer right, then the forklift goes left. It's very complex, but luckily I'm forklift certified. I approach my first proper household and grow giddy to the unknown treasures that lay within. Immediately upon entry, I spot a deceased survivor. Luckily, they were dead dead, not dead walking around dead. The only thing that I found of use inside of this house was a few cans of food and some skill books that may or may not come in handy later. I continue to the house next door where I find a deceased survivor. Unlike the last one, this guy is walking around dead, so I make him dead dead. This time after looting this place, I only find a single useful book. Not even food or band-aids, unfortunately. So I go back to my glorious steed and venture further down the street, where I stroll upon a couple of undead ghouls. I think it's the perfect time to test out the durability of my shiny death machine. I figured it would do a bit more damage considering a standard forklift weighs around 9,000 pounds. And we all know a zombie skull wouldn't survive a single encounter with this beast. As soon as I finish dispatching one zombie, another one wants to join in on the fun. Next thing I know, there are like four more zombies who seem interested in my forklift. So I get to work mowing down the small horde. One downside to this forklift is that it is very top heavy. So I have to be extra careful not to tip this thing, otherwise I'm a goner. Also, not only am I a solid zombie killer, but I'm quite good at taking out mailboxes as well. Luckily for me though, there are no felonies or misdemeanors in the apocalypse, so it's a win-win. To reduce the chances of me tipping the forklift over by running over the bodies, I dismount and engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat with these undead weenies one by one. Finally, the groaning of the undead has come to an end, for now at least. Time to do some looting real quick before I continue. Only finding a few cans of food again, I get back onto my trusty forklift and do what I always do. Before I call it a day and get some rest, I notice a light bar option in my settings of my forklift. And you know I have to check it out. Unfortunately for me, when I turn it on, 
It's an alarm that only zombies can hear, because before I know it I'm being surrounded again. I guess my day isn't over after all. Now that it's clear, it's time to find a bed to rest my sleepy little noggin. At 4.50am I hop out of bed well rested, ready to take on the day, so I scrounge for more food and get back on the road. At this point I was getting tired of having to clear the block one house at a time, so I decided to turn my silent siren on and drive slowly through the town. Maybe I could lead them out of the town or mow them down all in one go. Driving at a solid Mach 5 miles per hour, I started to gather a solid following. I thought it would be mighty misfortunate if my forklift were to run out of gas, but we'll just take our time and not do anything stupid. Unfortunately, not long after, I do something stupid. For some reason in my smooth brain, while I was looking back at the crowd of the undead, I thought, do it. And I did. Multiple times. Until this happened. Just kidding, you thought something bad was gonna happen. You really think after barely making it through that, I would do it again? Yep, I did it again. And became a certified fool. Man, being forklift certified is stupid anyways. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content and you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and join this ever-growing community. If you want to support me even more, you can go and buy me a coffee. The link is in the description if you'd like. Also, I know this is a little overdue, but thank you again so much for getting me over 500 subscribers within such a short time of me uploading. So thank you again so, 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 so much. And I will see you guys in the next one.